it's Jessie V. And I am so excited for today's video because I am so intrigued by this level of the back rooms. This level deserves its own video and this is probably the most highly requested level from you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the pool rooms and there is something just so unsettling and strange about this place and I know the entire back rooms are strange but this place is on another level. No pun intended. Oh and guys are you seeing this backdrop right now. I love it. This is obviously the new August backdrop, which means I'll be announcing the winner of last month's backdrop. To enter to win that, you had to go onto my Instagram and send me a DM telling me what you would name your own planet. And the winner is Maddie1109. And she says that she would name her planet Mystical Mysteries because all the species on my planet would have a unique power that helps people. I love that. So this is the new backdrop. I love it because it's basically sea creatures that are constellations in the sky. So this is sort of another spacey one, but also like ocean themed, which I love. It's a mix. I love mixes. It's just so magical and I wish you could see all of them, but I'm like blocking the whale. I'm blocking this cute little turtle down there. So if you guys would like it, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. So my Jessie V channel, turn on your notification bell. And then once again, head over to my Instagram. It is Jessie V. Give it a follow. And my question for you this time, time is if you could create a constellation in the sky, what would you make it look like? Would you make it look like a mermaid, a unicorn, a flower, a butterfly? Tell me what you would make your constellation look like. And that's all you have to do to be entered for this month's backdrop. Before I get started though, I have two exciting announcements to tell you guys. The first one is that if you are currently in Ontario, Canada, I am doing a meet and greet this Saturday, August 6th at our peculiar Play Store in Orangeville and I would love to see you guys there. I'm gonna put my meet and greet times on the screen along with the address of our store. This is a non-ticketed event. Just come as you are. Come and see our awesome new store and I'm just so excited to meet you. And if you want a bit more information about our store and about how to get there, I will put a link down below in the description. And the second announcement is that we have just released our back to school mystery boxes. These mystery mystery boxes are Yana themed this year. So all the proceeds from these boxes will go directly into our Yana program. We really need funding right now, especially with schools going back into session in the fall. So in our boxes, we have the Be Kind tote bag, which I designed. I made it all like retro hippie looking. There's also a locker poster or just a poster for your room. You're going to get a mystery pair of socks. We have so many. The other mystery item is the ice cream cream bath fizzy so you won't know what color you're getting and inside the fizzy is a mystery toy which I find so so cool. We also have our Yana temporary tattoos, our Yana bracelets, so many awesome things in this box that promotes kindness and positivity and like I said the proceeds go towards such an amazing foundation that helps get rid of isolation and bullying in schools. So if you guys would like one we have a very limited quantity this time and I will put a link down below in the description for you. Okay, so without further ado, let's get right into today's video talking about the pool rooms. Now, this is technically level 37 of the back rooms, and it's called Sublimity, but like I said, it's more commonly known as the pool rooms. The pool rooms are an expansive complex of interconnected rooms and corridors that are slightly submerged in lukewarm water. Each area of the level varies greatly in size and structure, ranging from uniform pools and hallways to more open, abnormally shaped areas that twist and turn and spiral. The walls and ceilings and floors of this level all seem to be constructed from the same white ceramic tile, with the only color in this place being the blue-green hue of the water. Now, the pool rooms are eerily pristine and orderly, and many things don't make logical sense. Pillars protrude out of the water and there are deep parts of the pools with no ledge to climb out of the water, just these incredibly tall walls. And some areas are just completely cast in darkness, which would obviously be very, very dangerous to swim in. There are even staircases that descend directly into the deep pits of water, possibly giving the impression that the water was not originally present when this place was first created, almost like it was this labyrinth of rooms and hallways that was flooded. And 
And usually entrances to these deep dark areas of the pool rooms are found in the form of descending staircases like I just showed you guys. So creepy, so eerie. And it is strictly advised to avoid exploring these areas due to their inherent danger and also because they are completely devoid of light, thus having unmapped terrain. A lot of people have never explored these areas. Without the proper equipment, one could easily get lost or even drown in the level's depths. Now the temperature of the water is strangely consistent everywhere you go. Even in the darkest and deepest areas of this level, the water is still lukewarm constantly. Upon investigation, traces of Epsom salt have been found in the water. And when you're immersed in this compound for an extended period of time, it has this relaxation effect on you that relieves muscles and other bodily pains that you may have. People have also said that this place is strangely nostalgic. There's this feeling as though you've been there before, but you can't place it in your memories. You wonder if you've been there in a dream or if this place actually existed in some point of your life. But as you may know, with nostalgia comes a form of comfort. So for a lot of people, this place feels really safe. They say it's almost like exploring a familiar dream. And by unknown means, a minimal and constant rippling is present in the water despite it being undisturbed. And it's not known where this rippling originates from, though some wanderers do theorize that the level is so large that it has developed its own tidal forces, which is crazy. Sound is also severely altered in this place. Wanderers say that their voices don't echo like you'd think it would, especially with all the tunnels and the hallways and the empty space. And you know whenever you go to like an indoor pool for swimming lessons or whatever, your voices really echo. But apparently in this place, the most that you'll hear is the sound of the water, which is reported to be pretty quiet. It's almost calming, but there is some rarer cases where it quickly becomes obtrusive and drowns out any other sound. So even if you're talking, all you'll hear is the sound of the water. Now let's talk about entities on this level. You may be surprised to hear that this level is entirely devoid of life. No encounters with entities or other wanderers have been recorded in this level. It's assumed that's because this level is just so unimaginably large that no one could possibly come across another while in it. In saying this though, there is one entity on this level that is called the Hydrolytus Plague. And the Hydrolytus Plague is a bacterium located in the water of the darker areas of level 37. This disease lurks around untreated and stagnant bodies of water, being most common in abandoned pools. It could appear due to multiple environmental factors and in the case of pools, spread rapidly due to the lack of chlorine. Hydrolytus is mainly transmitted through airborne particles or by consuming the water containing the disease. So when you're here, obviously don't drink the water. It's not a good idea. Now, infected people can exhale these contaminated particles, possibly infecting someone else if they're in close proximity to you. But like I said, because this place is so large, you're probably not gonna meet anybody. But this disease has multiple symptoms, including weakness, high fever, severe pain, possible delirium, especially if you're infected for a long period of time. But due to the nature of level 37, the interpersonal spread of hydrolytis is not a concern, but the effects of the symptoms may be worsened in the level due to the lack of medical availability. So I really want to know what your reaction is to this place. Through doing research for this video, I found that people are very 50-50 of how they feel about it. Some people find it inviting and relaxing and calming looking. You know, it looks like a place that they would want to get themselves lost in and maybe even stay here for a very long period of time. But other people such as myself find the pool rooms to be very haunting and anxiety inducing. Like this is a place that I would dread going. This is my worst nightmare, especially looking at some of these hallways. I'm incredibly claustrophobic. I'm afraid of very deep water. I do not swim in oceans or lakes because I don't know what's hiding underneath me. And this place is also just so vast and empty of life and the spiral stairs going down into the darkness really scares me. I've also seen photos of slides that drop people into this bottomless pool. It, dark water is just a no-no for me. But I'm super curious to hear how you guys feel about this 
place. When you're looking at these photos, how do you feel? Do you feel invited and relaxed or do you feel really scared like I do? Please comment because I'm going to go through them. I am so interested to hear what you have to say. And yeah, if you want me to continue doing this series on the back rooms, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. And don't forget if you would like one of our Yana mystery boxes, I have linked them down below. And if you would like to come to my meet and greet on August 6th, I would love, love, love to see you there. And more information about that is also linked down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!